is the pulse oximeter checkoff, which you can follow along in your lab manual. First, verify a physician order for an oximeter, then wash your hand and obtain the appropriate equipment. And what you'll need is a pulse oximeter, uh, a sensor probe, and an alcohol wipe. Uh, explain the procedure to the patient. Ms. Brown, we will be connecting an oximeter to your finger to get an indication of how much oxygen is in your blood. It won't hurt. It simply shines a light through your finger. I'll be getting this ready and be with you in just a few seconds. Okay. Secondly, if it's uh, electrical, you'll need to connect the power to the uh, electrical outlet and then connect all of the equipment to the oximeter finger probe to the right outlet and the power to the correct outlet as well. Turn on the power switch, make sure the unit is working, and then wipe the finger sensor off with alcohol. Even though this is an external device, it's best to clean the device off with an alcohol wipe. Make sure the device is dry before using it. Then you're going to apply it typically to the finger but you can also use it to a toe, an ear, or a uh, foot as in an infant. Ms. Brown, I'm going to connect this to your finger. Make sure that you get the right side up, attach it to the finger, have the patient keep their hand downward. Observe for the appropriate waveforms and to confirm the waveform check with the patient's pulse. Pulsing and the beeping of the oximeter should be the same. If not, you may be getting an artifact and incorrect readings. Set your alarms according to each individual 